after every tragedy, certain individuals or groups reveal to us their utter hypocrisy, pretending to be humanitarian and caring about humanity. On top of these people come the Muslim Brotherhood organization and other Islamist activists, who in front of Western people play the role of a sheep, but in reality, each one of them is a real wolf. After the terror attack in Christchurch, New Zealand, these cute Islamists with suits and ties came out from their burrows expressing solidarity with the victims. So let me be clear, most of the killings of Muslims in mosques all over the Islamic world were carried out by Muslims, including in Syria. But we haven't heard your solidarity messages and crocodile tears because the victims were either from a different political camp or from a different sect within Islam. From certain sects that you consider them khawarij, meaning dissenters, and you make excuses to kill them. In fact, you breed your children to hate other religions and prepare them psychologically for a clash of civilizations claiming that the entire world hates Islam and Muslims. This type of people tell us every, after every terrorist attack by Islamists that terrorism has no religion, but when the perpetrator is of another religion, such as the example of New Zealand, where the terrorist was Christian and white, now they portray the incident as white terrorism or Christian terrorism. This is so wrong on many levels. If all white people or Christians hate Muslims, then why many Western countries receiving hundreds of thousands of people from Islamic countries? Look, in the West, there are people who believe in white supremacy and believe all other people are dumb asses, but these people are minority and hated by their own societies. In contrary to our region, and especially in Syria, where the Islamists committed thousands of terrorist attacks since 2011, while these same hypocrites were cheering and celebrating terrorism, or they were silent at best. And speaking about terrorism and the so-called Syrian revolution, Congresswoman Ilhan Omar and Rashida Tlaib made tweets celebrating the 8th anniversary of the United States regime change war in Syria, which uh, some like to call it as a revolution. Since the election of Omar and Tlaib, I had no illusions and say they are controlled opposition, and Omar is certainly a Muslim Brotherhood. I said this loud and clear, but some pro-Syria activists liked to live in their la la land after Omar's anti-APAC remarks. Now back to New Zealand, I would like to end this video by two messages. Number one, if you believe in killing the apostate, stoning to death, dismembering hands and feet, throwing homosexuals from high buildings, lynching slavery, sex slaves, and occupying countries to spread your religion, then you are also a terrorist and don't deserve to be respected. And your crocodile tears over the innocent victims of Christchurch is nothing but an hypocritical behavior. The second message is to my friends and colleagues who shorten the American or Western government's arrogance in general by white supremacy. As I mentioned before, some people in the West believe in white supremacy, this is true, but do you really think all these invasions, occupations and regime change projects happen because the politicians behind these policies want to devote white supremacy? Nonsense! The last time I checked, the US president who started the regime change project in Syria was black African, Mr. Barack Obama. So it's not about white and black, it's simply about geopolitical interests. And let me ask you this, after the death of Prophet Muhammad, the Islamic caliphs expanded and conquered territories stretched between China and Spain. Now is it okay to call this expansion by brown supremacy? I don't think so. So stay calm and awake and don't fall in this white and black trap while the geopolitical masters behind the misery in our region planning for more wars. I'm Kevork Almasian of Syriana Analysis and I kindly invite you to become my patron to support independent journalism and political commentary. See you next time.